Man, I thought last episode was the one where we get Denkin versus Frieden, but we kind of got baited and we had these other side fights, which were actually great. Farron still being this imposing, this ominous, this scary looking girl, even though she does nothing and she just kind of sits there and just looks down on you like this. It's still fucking terrifying, man, what she does. Not that she actually killed that other girl. Baited. She didn't actually kill them. Weird Bell and Uber. I, sorry, it's, I, I can't fucking say German names, but they're pretty cool. I like them. Their backstory was pretty interesting, too, because that kind of implies that Weird Bell kind of like killed a bunch of like slaughtered children back in the war, because that's how the North is, you know? It's just brutal up there, you know, child soldiers everywhere. It's, that's kind of pretty fucked up. But the main focus of this episode is going to be Denken versus Frieden. And I believe there's also Richter versus, you know, the other girls, too, right? Let's begin today's reaction, though. See the barrier, the rain sounds. Someone's gonna have to break that barrier, right? Because they've been hyping this barrier up so much the last couple episodes, saying it's like, oh, it's a big barrier. I'm just expecting Frieden to destroy it. Flashback? <gasps> it's an elf girl. So I thought that this girl was the one that Frieden was talking about, about the girl that has less mana than her, but still lost. I believe she mentioned there was one elf that she lost to, but some people were saying, nah, I don't really know. <laughs> Oh. Say that again? Say say that again? I don't think this is a girl. I think this is a trap. Is this a trap elf? Is this straight up a fucking trap elf? Did I get baited? Did I just get No no one hundred percent! This is a trap Oh my fucking god, dude! The fact that even Flame would like kneel to him. Hmm. The ground. Marguranto. It goes up, right? That's where we left off. Yo, I'm kind of scared for these girls. Because this dude, Richter, last episode, one of the funniest things that he said was like, I'm going to kill these kids. And Denkin was like, yo, relax. This is just an exam. You don't have to do that. This guy is a menace. Denkin seems very reasonable, though. This is Boomer versus Boomer, isn't it? That's kind of how Frieden does too, to her hobby. Yep, definitely not a girl. He trained Flame. Oh! You can tell me. I actually can't tell. Are they just baiting me with the voice? Or. Because, like, if you look at the figure, right? There's a bit of a pointy bust here. I think it's a girl, actually. I, I, I think this is a girl, and the, and the voice acting just kind of confused me because, like, okay, so I got double baited. I fucked my... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. What does she ask for? She just kind of collects for fun, though, right? Yeah, exactly. Probably the first one to ever deny. I think Denkin and Frieden could be very good friends. Literally the same word. I think their philosophy aligns and they're both boomers. I think they could be great boomer friends. <laughs> she, does, she, she does not <laughs> approve of us. Mm. True. I'd love to know who struck the final blow onto the demon lord, right? Was it Himmel? Or was it Frieden? Or is that spoilers? I'd like to know who got the decisive killing blow on it. As one who seeks battle, you cannot kill the Demon King. What? So if you seek battle, you can't kill it? But Frieden is like indifferent of it, so she was able to kill it? What? That's super important! Okay. She's kind of smiling there. We can be friends with Denkin! But like up there, I don't know if Richter is gonna go easy on the kids. Lavina and Kana should be okay, right? <laughs> but he's just stepping on her ice magic. Uh-oh. He can't get frozen? The difference in quality of mana is preventing him from being frozen? This straight up just looks like Gara. Oh, so that's how they fight. One focuses on defense and the other on attack? Relatively non-lethal ice magic. I love how he's so disrespectful even now. Mm. He's figured us out. Fuck. I don't know. He's talking too big. 
But maybe it's a lot of mana. What are you implying? Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, lecture time. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, it's getting more, more dimensions. I'm not really following, but okay. I'm gonna be completely honest. No, I did understand that there's a little bit of a difference between, you know, how you use Zoltrak against, you know, uh, the magical beings and physical things and how we shouldn't over-engineer the barriers and make it simple, but, uh, go ahead. Huh? Oh, he can pierce it! So, attacks? That involved manipulating physical objects such as the ground can pierce the barrier that is good against, for example, Zoltrak. I see, I see, I see. Oof. Let me see that again. <laughs> Damn. Yo, these kids. These kids are getting fucked up. Are we going to come back from this? Also, the NSFW artists are going to go crazy with this episode. No shot, we're done. Come on. Come <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> Wait, I thought he was gonna try to kill him. It's a trap? So are you telling me that you can like freeze the blood within him? Can you picture how that water is distributed throughout a person's body? I don't know. What the fuck? Wait? 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 How about we don't remove it and just... Okay, it was a bluff. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? About it? But he ran away from it. Water! Earth bending! Natural counter! Water? I don't know? Alright, I guess that's it for the battle there. So far, Denkin has just been very judgmental from the side, but he's actually doing something now. Battle of attrition. Tornado. Flame tornado! Okay, maybe I was a little bit too mean to Richter. It's, it's just that he said that he was going to kill him last episode, but I guess now he's just kind of teasing these kids and we're just kind of watching it from the sidelines like that. This is kind of nice. They're just chilling. Oh my god, look at that flame tornado, man. Oh, maybe he's going to destroy the barrier. I'd be totally fine if Denkin's the one that destroys the barrier, but a cooler thing is that if Denkin's flame tornado or other attacks couldn't pierce the barrier, but Frieden could, then that's like a, a power fantasy, right? It's like flexing. Great Maceri is the the elf in the beginning, right? The blonde one, right? Okay, so it's gonna be a huge feat then. Okay, they're hyping it up still. Who? Frieden. Break the barrier, let the rain fall down. Wait, 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 wait. If we break the barrier, if Frieden or something breaks the barrier, there's still rain coming down? Kane and Lavine could still win. Because if we have then water from the rain, yo! Because they were specifically saying, what are you so afraid of? I've been saying from like since the beginning of this fucking arc that if someone breaks that fucking barrier, maybe the water can help us cast the birds. But no, no, no. It's gonna be from a battle perspective. Oh. Is there a mage greater than Zeri? I think she's right here, man. All encompassing barrier. <laughs> Was she attacked while in the barrier? How do you do that? You can only do one or the other though, right? The fuck? She's so cool today, dude! Ooh. I have no idea. I no shot, Denkins. No, the barrier's not broken yet. No, Denkins not done that. But like, look at this. So he just used like, you know, basically fair elderly abuse? No, we're older. No, 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 no. We're, we're teaching this whippersnapper a fucking lesson right now. But look at this. Multiple attacks. Yeah, this is child abuse. See? The barrier is full. You can only attack or defend. So at this point, the smoke... But a counter happens immediately. Is it, can you, like, preemptively, like, set up an attack? So that, it, that, like, counter was, like, set up before the barrier went up? 
ような隙間を。So fast。早い。And don't thank him. Come on, get off. You talk so much shit the last two episodes. Come on. Shit, he actually has no mana left. I told you, you need just normal auto attacks. Don't 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 make it complex. Denken understands. Denken is finally acknowledging and witnessing that he might be fucking out of place right now. This is not Chain Soldier? What the fuck? <laughs> this is CBT! This is Kyoka stepping on Yuki's, you know? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> and again, you know the NSFW artists are gonna go crazy with this episode. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, at least it's his ass. Okay, if it was the other way around, it'd be way too much, right? But god damn, you see this ass? You see this gat? Look at the shape of it, dude. It's kind of bulging out. Yo, Dank has got that fucking... <laughs> He's got that dumpy. <laughs> there she is. I'll kill. Mm, would she actually... I don't think that Freedom would ever kill like that. I don't know. Have we ever seen a side like that from Freedom where she was so cold that I thought that she would just kill? Against demons, yeah, but against like regular humans during an exam, I don't know, man. Hey, chill. I want to be. I want us to be friends. Hold up, relax. Yeah, everyone else is outclassed here. Uh, you can't use that then. No, Denkin just said, don't do it. No. I think she's just doing this to make her move like that. Yeah. And caught. Too good. And we got the bird back. Freed and solo carried and binded them. Oh, what? A little nice wholesome moon between these two. The privileges that come with it. Isn't he super interested in the politics and the privilege that comes with it? Uh, okay. Dude, he's trying to get the first class magician title so he can go back up there and fight the demons and protect them. Denkin is so good, man. Oh, Denkin! I like Denkin a lot. What do you mean? You think Richter killed him? He did? Wait, wait, wait! Richter did say, I won't kill you as long as, as, long as you know, you know, Denkin wins, but he just lost. So now it's like shit. Uh oh, uh oh. You can do it, yeah? Sorry, nah, they'd win. The demon soundtrack is playing! They fucking baited me again. They keep doing this shit where they fucking start playing the soundtrack that first played when we the demons were introduced. They just play for that first like 10 seconds and stop playing it. Never mind! Hold up! It's back! He's actually trying to kill these kids, dude! Just straight up trying to kill them! Break the barrier, let the rain fall down! Also, very good point. Was she literally analyzing it while fighting Denkin? She was straight up fucking multitasking? I didn't even consider that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, you better look at this, man. This motherfucker better spit out his tea when we break that fucking barrier because he's still acting cool. He's like, nope. I don't see it. Nope. Not acknowledging it. No, it's not gonna happen. The cope. As soon as yeah, he is a professional hater. As soon as we break the barrier, I hope he fucking spits out the fucking tea from his mouth, dude. Oh god, here we go. Cope. Cope. What kind of magic is this? Yo, it's gonna break! Look at it, dude! Holy shit! Yo, was this the magic that was used to kill the Demon King or what? Yes! The rain now! See? The holy emblem. Is that from Flame? Oh, and yes! 
Fucking freedom, dude. She's so hype. Yeah, and now Lavina and Kane has water and they can beat Richter. If she has water, that's right. Not really, no. This is a perfect environment. Give up, bro. Walk away. Kane, go in. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, uh, 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 you idiot. Why did you touch the fucking one? Okay, that was so dumb. Maybe you can break out of it, but this is so fucking dumb. Of all the other places that you could have touched underground, you intentionally touched the fucking puddle? You, like, come on. Richter, you're smarter than that. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. Oh. Kane's actual power, yeah? But you just drop it on him? Yo, Kane! I didn't realize you could do this! <laughs> She's straight out! Oh, no. Take it! Take it! Bye. Yo. These kids are insane. These kids are fucking... I, I was really underestimating... Kane, but obviously she has a wind condition, right? If she's around bodies of water, then she's pretty much unstoppable, but like, still, that was fucking insane. Everybody's tapped out. Oh, little head pads. Oh. oh, wait. What are the odds you fucking get swept to here exactly, dude? What the fuck? Nah, it's all right, bro. Oh, big bird. Unless you get lucky. Unless you get lucky. Break the tree? Oh! Oh, oh. I was like, break the tree, but I was like, yeah, we, we are tied to a tree. Duh. Duh. <laughs> just get lucky. We could just get lucky. Bribe the people that's holding this comp. I don't know. Am I shitting on Imperial Mages too much? I'm not really sure. Party Party Junior. Thank you for a, another tier 1 gift to sub. Alright, Imperial Mages fight till the end. They don't bribe. Huh? That's all you need. That's all she taught her. Did they witness the berry being broken? Yeah, she did know. Uh, I'm not really sure, actually. See-through clothes, that's right, we do have... <laughs> Wait, Uber, not on you! Right, this is just like the first test. We have like second test and obviously more. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, she wants him to get to know him, but he, he's very secretive. The fuck? What are you doing, Duncan? It's time to jump these kids. Now nah, you're gonna fucking lose anyways. What are you doing with that bird, bro? Give me that bird. Give me that bird. <laughs> Negotiate? Nah, jump him. Merc him. <laughs> this is after their friends already died. Yo, there's some ominous music played too. Yo, Duncan, what are you about to do? They can hold up. Wait, I don't like the soundtrack playing right now. This is kind of spooky. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you look so scary now. <laughs> Take it. I thought you were a nice little grandpa. <laughs> we're about to bully them. Their teammates already died. The soundtrack, this ominous soundtrack, is fucking playing, and you walk on it like this. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we are out of mana. Intimidate, bluff, fist fight. Magicians without mana fist fighting. Oh. Oh, he's clean. He's actually gonna fist fight? Oh my god, he took his shirt off. <laughs> usually, the per in like a street fight video, whenever you see it on Twitter or something, usually the person that takes their shirt off first loses. But right now, he did technically have this like under, you know, gown. So it's fine. It's fine, right? Maybe the super hype moment isn't freedom destroying the barrier, but thinking about the fucking show him the fist. Fight me, bitch. You're a man, right? <laughs> Aren't we major? <laughs> Ooh. No, come on, come on. No. You could.
couldn't connect it at least one fucking uppercut. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Oh, he got fucking off screen. <laughs> they can one, dude. They got the bird. <laughs> they got the bird, dude. <laughs> It'd be even funnier if we saw the bodies of those two guys just on the ground right now. Just like fucked up, you know? <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Bald. Bald. Have we seen these parties before, actually? Not the baldies. This, these guys. These guys seem kind of important, huh? Have we seen them before? I don't think so. So maybe these people are important for the second test, huh? 18 people. Damn. Stage 2. Let's go. Aww. I was like a little nod of like, hey, you made it. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. What's been Stark doing all this time? <laughs> He's just in the bar, just drinking orange juice. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> this poor kid. <laughs> and that is the episode. I think it's been a while since we've had like a huge pop-off episode. Even though the last two episodes were very exciting. Because we were obviously getting into a new arc. You know, it's like a little driver's license test. But, you know, it feels like a battle royale at the same time. It was really great. The ad the action sequences again. Frieden is not about the action. But it can do the action like crazy. What did we learn today? We learned that, you know, a uh, new modern magic that uses physical, you know, uh, manipulation of physical bodies is better for breaking the barrier. Which is kind of interesting because, you know, Frieden kind of teaches us just the basic magic and just basic defense. But I wonder if we're ever going to use that, you know, for the future, right? And then what, what else do we happen? Denken is fucking sick. Denken is very cool to me. I thought that he was just a fucking... Uh, out of meta boomer that was walking around judging people for the last two episodes, but he showed up. He showed up and more. Obviously, he's not going to be able to beat Freedom, but this fire tornado was very cool. The first class mages were even hyping up Denken. Everybody was, a, a lot of people were hyping up Denken, and you even get to learn about his motivation that the reason why he wants to become a first class mage is not for the clout. He doesn't give a fuck about that. It's not even for this, like, the magic that you can just ask from that, um, that city, the, the elf, right? Because he, he has the same mindset as Freedom. It's just like, searching for the magic, I think the pursuit of that is more fulfilling than just getting, like, a random magic spell for free, right? And, like, the fact that he just wants to go to his, like, you know, the north town and just protect his people and there's a burial site that he wants to visit. I think that we can be great friends. I think he's really cool. And even the fucking fight scene here, I, I, look, look, Freedom. Defeating, like, defeating them, Lavina, defeating them, the bear breaking, that was sick. That was fucking sick. But for some reason, maybe my favorite moment is this ominous, spooky music playing and Tenken just showing up like this. Like, look, look, look. If you just saw this guy like this in the rain, he looks so menacing here. He's just standing there, menacingly. And he's like, you're a man, right? You want to fucking fight? This old dude just wipes the takes his fucking shirt off and just uppercuts him. Yo, Denken is so hype. I love Denken. I love side characters in animes and he's, I think he's a great side character. But yes, Freedom's feat of destroying the barrier, analyzing it while fighting Denken, freeing the water so that, you know, Kanne can do the crazy attacks. It was very cool. But for some reason, I feel like Denken stole my heart today for this episode. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.